Good afternoon. Thank you for staying to the very end of this conference about many voices, one goal. And each day we have choices about what we say, what we eat, what we do, what we support, and how we use our voice. We have so many choices. In fact, it can take hours just to figure out what type of Crest toothpaste to buy when you have over 50 different flavors available to you. And likewise, all of us have choices about what we do after this conference. After you leave today, how will you choose to use your voice? to accomplish the goal of all of our students being career and college ready. You have heard many voices today, including our governor, who talked about our past history in supporting education and the role we all play in writing today's chapter of history. You have heard the voices of teachers, students, educational leaders from local schools and districts, you have heard the voices of business leaders and nonprofit organization leaders. They have all shared their voices with us today about the importance of education. I like Leslie Winter's voice when she said we have to change our message from talking about a broken system to how we improve our system. I like Dr. Tresman's voice about balance and his advice about going forward with the common core. I echo Mike, I mean not Mike, but Bill McNeil's voice when he talks about North Carolina's progress in education. These and the other voices that have been shared today are valuable and have an extremely important role in the discussions about our future. But today's conference must be more than just talk. The state's college and career ready race to the top initiative is the most important work we have before us at the Department of Public Instruction. T today, some of you have heard about our efforts about turning around our school's performance, preparing and keeping great teachers and school leaders, transitioning to a statewide curriculum, that includes the Common Core standards and using the latest technology and new data systems to improve instruction. This really may be the largest and most significant movement of statewide educational change that North Carolina has seen in quite a long time. And through these initiatives, we really can move faster and further to Education 3.0 where we personalize or customize education for every child. And this work will require us to coordinate with our partners from local school districts, higher education, businesses, community organizations, nonprofits. And this teamwork has really been critical as a part of our success thus far, and it will be even more important in the future. One of my favorite quotes is from the softball great Lisa Fernandez who said, the team with the best athletes doesn't usually win, it's the team with the athletes who play best together. And so today, may our work reinforce, reemphasize, and remind us all that we must work as a team we must use our many voices to reach our goal of all of our students graduating college and career ready. So I thank you for sending that message and using your voice throughout North Carolina. And may you also use your voice to send the message that this goal is for the public good of our state. Thank you.